Welcome back, everyone. It's January the 3rd. It's 2023. Happy New Year. New New Year. New episode, I guess. I was not going to say new us because it's not really a new us. But before we introduce this week's guest. Um, let's jump into the sponsorship. So hearing from Dave Phillips, as always, he says, Happy New Year, everyone. We have a feeling it's going to be an especially great year for all the Hokies out there. The new year is also when the housing market starts heating back up after people have been enjoying the holidays. So if you or someone you know is thinking of buying or selling a home, call or text Dave at 540-346-4552 to find out how we can help. And he's also happy to meet you at Castle to chat before one of our games or at halftime. That's 540-346-4552. It's going to be a great year, everyone. And can I just say that literally during the Carolina game, I could hear Dave Phillips really? behind our bench. Yes, cheering <laughs> for us. So he's a real supporter. We really appreciate him. And yeah, make sure to chat to him at one of our games or give him a call. Yeah. Okay, rundown for this, this week's guest. <laughs> Obviously, it's very special. Kelly Amor, she was a, or is a, excuse me, North Ballarat Football Club D-grade netballer. Yes. Knockdown goal attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tuck and roll specialist. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Mother of three. <laughs> a wife to Philip, going on 26 years. Racing Victoria certified horse trainer, whose horse just won a, new, a race on New Year's Eve. And all the way from Ballarat, Victoria, Australia, this is Kelly Amor. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Mom is low-key famous now. We're at Dick's um, yesterday and some guy comes up to the both of us and he was like, great to see you on the court yesterday. And mom didn't respond to him because she thought he was talking to me. And he like grabs mom's shoulder and she's like, oh, me. Yeah, she is famous. How was the flight, all of the traveling? Like, give us a rundown on what happened. Like, where'd you go? What was the path? What events happened? Okay, so the alarm went off in Ballarat, Victoria. <laughs> probably about, I think it was five o'clock um, Christmas morning and um, obviously got up and um, went into Toby's room and I just get this <laughs> and then a grunt and um, said goodbye and then went into Gemma's room and I um, yeah, got a kiss and a cuddle and drove from Ballarat to the airport in Melbourne. So that took a... How long was that? Oh, I was about, to say, I was about to say that, so don't interrupt. <laughs> okay. Um, that took about an hour and 20, an hour and 15. And then um, we had to get there three hours before. International flight, you had to get there three hours. Huh? I'm, I'm keeping our count. Oh, yeah, three hours before. And obviously boarded, went Melbourne to LA, which is um, new because during COVID last year we had to go to Sydney. So we could fly straight Melbourne to LA. Took 14 hours with Qantas. And then landed in LA. We had to wait three hours maybe to get our flight from LA to um, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, LA to Charlotte, about five hours. And then waited another couple of hours to get our flight from Charlotte to Roanoke. And then um, we thought this is going pretty good. No, no, um, yeah, no hiccup so far. And then we're waiting at the luggage, luggage um, area. No luggage. So uh, we had to make a report to American Airlines to say we've got no undies and jobs. <laughs> so <laughs> that was the biggest concern. <laughs> so we had to, um, they said they'll deliver our luggage, which happened three days later. So we had to go to Target and go bra shopping, undie shopping, jeans shopping, sock shopping, boots. boots. Um, <laughs> I'll claim them, don't worry. Um, and then, um, we, um, yeah, I had to hire, we hired a car and I drove. And as soon as I got, this is a funny part. <laughs> as soon as I, I was a bit jet lagged and in a new country. But as soon as I got in the car, I went, where's the steering wheel? And then I looked to the left and I'm like, oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. So Danielle and I swapped and I start driving and it's been a breeze ever, ever since. <laughs> have you had any hiccups driving? Like, have you found yourself on the left side of the road? Um couple of times I've gone to turn and thought why is there cars coming towards me <laughs> and then veered <laughs> to the right or I'm sitting there waiting for cars to turn I'm like why are they all coming towards me but they don't they're they're going to the other lane so you just have to keep reminding yourself that um always say left shoulder to the middle so <laughs> I have to keep on telling myself that and if I start talking I'll get distracted so I, I really need to concentrate <laughs> Glad that you're focused. Uh, nothing <laughs> bad has happened yet. Yes. Yep. Um, um, so a recap of 
this week. So thank you for everyone for coming to our UNC game on New Year's Day. It was packed. And I think like I think that was like the loudest that I've heard Castle. Yeah, definitely. Especially in like the crucial moments at the end of the game when it was super mm-hmm. close. Uh, you guys were really loud and it really gave us a lot of energy, I think. Yeah. Um, also, I had forgotten that uh, Kelly, she had come last year and was able to come to like Florida State and all that stuff. But then you weren't able to come to a home game. So what was your first game in Castle like? Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I try to keep myself together. Um, <laughs> no, but, no, no, no. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, yeah, obviously just the whole Castle Coliseum, you heard about it. I've heard about it so much. Um, to sit there and experience it. And um, and for Georgia and for the Hokies to win, for Georgia to have a, a good game was good <laughs> rather than a bad game. <laughs> and um, obviously very nerve-wracking, emotional. Um, just, yeah, just sort of have to sort of kick myself and think, wow, this is, um, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very how, proud. How was it watching her hit those three clutch free throws at the end to basically secure the win? Well, it was very quick, which was good. So um, <laughs> I tried not to look and, I don't know, I just sort of, just try to, yeah, just not look at her too much and think, oh, God, I hope she doesn't miss. Um, and then because she was so quick, 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 I'm like, that's the way to do it. Like, <laughs> Get yeah. it over with. Yeah, so it was very, um, oh, just relieved. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and then Tommy soon remind me um, it's not over. So then yeah. I had to sort of focus again and get back into the game. Because <laughs> yeah. I was celebrating a fair bit with Raven at that stage. <laughs> I think they, they panned over to you and you were like checking your pulse yeah. and then Raven comes and holds yeah. you. And I'm like, yeah. there's still 1.8 seconds. I know, so. I know. And after last year, I should have learned. Yeah, that this that's could, what I was about to say. Yeah. The exact, it was like the so similar to yeah. last year with like the draw, like tight. Well, I say draw game, but I keep, people say it's tied. You know what I'm saying when I say yeah. draw. Yeah. It's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. Yeah. It's a draw. It was tight. But then they ran that sideline out of play, uh, out of bounds play, which was mm. so similar to last year. And, yeah. Oh. You didn't see in the AC tournament. Yeah, in the, the AC tournament. Someone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The camera was on Kelly while she was clutching her heart, <laughs> checking her Apple Watch for her pulse. <laughs> her Apple Watch said, "Looks like you started a walk. Would you like to record it?" Yeah. They're all sweating. <laughs> Though, so. And I had a really thick jumper on, which is really silly. Yeah, it was I thought it was meant to be cold over here. It's been really mild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could have had a pretty good time. Yeah. Last week's episode, we were in a windstorm. Yeah. That was a completely different story. But oh well. Now uh, another episode this week is brought to you by Three Ten Rosemont. Um, they're sponsoring the roommate report card segment. Um, speaking of Three Ten Rosemont, we actually took both of our moms over there yesterday. Mm. Um, did you get anything nice? I did. I did. So. Um, Look, clothing, you know, um, it was uh, a nice shop, let's say. So um, nice clothing, um, small sizes. So um, <laughs> I just pretty much went for the, you know, the shop for the kids mode and jewellery. So I got some um, nice earrings. I don't know if you can see them. They're yeah. green. They're green. Green, sparkly. Green's my favourite colour. I wasn't going to get them. And then George is like, Mum, I'm like, yeah, I've got to get them. So <laughs> Um, she, had, she had a pair of earrings. Oh, she did. They were, they're, it's a brand called Mimco and it's like an Australian brand. My twin sister bought them from me. They're okay, very but special. they run out. They literally have the word Mimco on them and they're rubbed out. It's just co now. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no Mim. No Mim. mim. <laughs> so once Georgia pointed that out, I had to, no return, I had to um, actually take them out and like put them in there. Straight away. Because <laughs> um, once, yeah, yeah. once she pointed that out, I'm like, I'm not wearing these. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But once again, we walked in. Taylor Swift's playing immediately. Mm-hmm. Mary greeted us immediately. Always love seeing her bright smile in that place because the personality of, like, those workers, it, like, actually just brightens it up. But it doesn't yeah. feel like I'm, like, you know when you walk into a place and you're, like, walking around slyly and it's a bit, like, awkward shopping? Yeah. Like, that's not the case at all. No. They it's make it super shop. comfortable, yeah. yeah. So thanks, Mary, the manager. We love you and we love 310 Rosemont. Um, yeah, so roommate report card. Georgia, what do you have? Well, mum has been over a bit, so I'm going to give it an A because she's cooked curry. She's bought over Vegemite. I've run out of that. I think my last thing had a bit of mold in it or something because it was gross. It's been about a year since I got some. Maybe it's grown its own yeast, Vegemite. It is yeast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't have mattered could have eaten the mold. Just saying. <laughs> Good to know. Um, and then she also bought my favourite chocolate pods over. Mm-hmm. So I've been, eating, I've been eating a lot. Yeah, I have to say... Kelly also gets an A because she's been taking Winnie on walks, yeah. um, which we really appreciate, even though she still wakes up in the middle of the night and wants to go outside. But also you get an A plus for that because I think you've taken her out multiple times um, <laughs> at the early hours. So really appreciate That's you okay. for that. Um, um, what do you think of like, so we moved recently. What do you think of like this place compared to last time? 
Well, first thing comes to your mind, these guys sponsor you, don't they? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cut that one out, George. Um, well, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful apartment. It's um, cosy. It's a um, nice area, great location. And um, obviously everything you guys need um, is here, kitchen, toilet, bedroom each, <laughs> bathroom each. So George can put all their products all out on the thing. Out on the um, sink. Yeah. We at the old apartment. We still with Kayla and Liz and I shared a uh, bathroom, and there was like a distinct line through the middle of all my stuff, and it was just everywhere. And Liz was like perfectly and like ordered by like alphabet and well, color and everything. No, I would also just like wipe down the counter sometimes, and there would be like a line where grime and dust was all okay. on Georgia's stuff and, and hair. And uh, and, and hair. I did have a shower at your old apartment, and it was black hair on the shower curtain. Yeah, I have a lot of hair because she gets her hair and just flings it on the shower curtain. <laughs> I am so grateful for the new place. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate what yeah. I'm showering. So it's, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then also the other night we had Raven over and Ralph and Loretta. We had everyone over for curry yeah. and Kayla. Um, so speaking of Raven, we have another segment. That's so Raven. Uh, this is a personal favorite because Raven is out there and she just says some things that make me laugh all the time. So I will begin my That's So Raven for this week. Um, this actually happened over Christmas break. So we know Raven is loud and out there and whatever. So this time she was actually really tired. And whenever she's tired, no one else can be loud or talk, (laughs) simply put. So she says, Georgia, you know what? It takes practice of relaxation, meditation, and shut up attention to sleep. (laughs) And I shut up. I really (laughs) shut up. I had to. That was pretty smart. Yeah, she gets really crabby when she's tired, huh? But when you're tired, she does not care at all. Yeah. It's yeah. okay though. We love her for it. Um, what about your uh, whole middle name? Oh scenario? yeah. So she, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but because she calls me Georgia Lee, like she calls me by every single name that I have. So I just kind of got not annoyed, but I just wanted to mess with her a little bit. So I told her my middle name was Leanne, and for like the longest time, I could tell that she was like, I don't know if this girl is like messing with me or if it's like actually Leanne. So she would call me Leanne all the time. <laughs> to see if like I would finally break yeah and I hadn't I had a pretty good track record like I answered when she called me George Leanne <laughs> and then mom came and Raven sniffed her out real quick <laughs> goes up to mom what'd she say um so is George's middle name Leanne and I said oh, no it's <laughs> Lee like she said oh god damn it that George has been called to say her middle name's Leanne <laughs> and I'm like I pretty much know it's Lee because my middle name's Lee and I gave birth so <laughs> It's Lee. She was that. Oh, she was crooked luck. She was like, no. So, so yeah, she's back to yelling out Georgia Lee. Yeah. So it was really cute when you were shooting your free throw. She's like, for the for the win, she's like, you know, go Georgia Lee. I think that's just all part of her plan to like prove to everyone else that she knows you better yeah. than they know. Like she just wants to be the closest to you. Yeah. yeah. Um. But now she's gonna listen to this back and know everything about what you were planning against her. Oh, I was just trying to, Raven and I have a great relationship, always messing with each other. Sometimes it gets a bit emotional in the worst ways, but, but we recover, we come back to it. Yeah, I'm sure um, this segment on the podcast will help us keep up with that mm-hmm. as your relationship ebbs and flows. So we really appreciate that. Um, my That's So Raven bit of the week was, I just wanted to kind of get you guys' opinions. We went to Our Daily Bread, which is a great place, um, yesterday, and she ordered a marshmallow peach latte, and I just don't know if I can get over that. Like, does that sound any, like, appealing Look, at all? As Australians, when you go into a... Mom doesn't really drink coffee. You're more of a hot, chalky mm. English breakfast girl. Mm-hmm. I'm a coffee type of girl. So when we go into cafes at home, you know, iced almond milk latte, whatever, basic. We don't really offer um, marshmallow syrup. Or peach oh, syrup. Or peach syrup. Wow. Or... It's a syrup. Marshmallow syrup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all the flavors. So, she, so, she, so she's drinking coffee with sugar syrup with marshmallow mm, and peach I like flavors. a stall. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they're just not really the options when you go there. So I'm glad that our daily bread is expanding, um, whatever. But I just feel like you shouldn't get the opportunity to put more than one syrup in a latte especially yeah. when it comes to raven no we we love that place they have plenty of other options i just thought it was interesting that choice but also like she will never turn anything peach down so i get it yeah, yeah. she loves peach rings i have heard that peach rings peach milkshake from was it cookout yeah. or chick-fil-a do you like Cook peaches out. no oh no, not really no rather um pears pears that, that's so <laughs> different <laughs> well same both start with pea like. <laughs> and they're a fruit <laughs> I want to say maybe like 
a nectarine or yeah. something like that. No, because I go shopping, I go, Pete, your pear, pear, in the same area. Um, speaking of fruits too, we were talking about mangoes and how at home I used to just like cut up the mango, eat the whole thing, we put it in salads. I would like suck the pip till I like get all the mango off the pip. Mm. Apparently here it's like not like that. <laughs> I I just think that our mango here kind of tastes like grass. Like ours is so good. I haven't really had good mango, but that oh. could also just be me. Mine, it would like I would literally hold it with yeah. a drip down you need to my elbow. Tea tail tucked into your yeah, knife yeah. and fork. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 They are so good. And a shower I, afterwards. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. think I've ever like eaten a mango. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to know when, <laughs> when we get over to Australia, I'll try it. Yeah. Greensburg early trip. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> next. Uh, we also have this recurring segment, Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokie House. As always, head down to Hokie House to listen to some great music, have some great food. Again, the jukebox is on the second floor, so go play your Song of the Week or our Song of the Week um started off with georgia what was your song of the week um i don't really have one specific song but before the games i just had to listen to like the most extreme like dance music to be honest i had to get my heart rate up yeah were you on ox in the locker room yeah i was temporarily and then i went out and warmed up and i forgot to reconnect because i was so locked in yeah no we were really locked in but it obviously worked you pumped yourself up and made six threes so (laughs) what about you what was your um I don't really have a pregame song. I'm kind of just in my own thoughts. Uh, but lately I've been listening to Lizzie McAlpine a lot. So if anyone knows who that is or listens to that also. Um, yeah, it's pretty slow. So I wouldn't recommend <laughs> pregame, but I like it a lot. What about you, Mom? What's your like favorite type of music or like your favorite artist or um, that and the song that you listen to like this week or on the plane or something? Um, well, obviously because of my age, um, I like the 80s <laughs> and um, I love um, Jimmy Barnes. Actually, I was telling Ralph, your dad, about Jimmy Barnes, if he's heard of Jimmy Barnes and he hadn't, I was horrified. <laughs> um, he's like, you know, he's a legend back in Australia. So if you want to Google it or whatever you do, yeah. um, Jimmy Barnes, great songs, um, good Australian songs. So um, I love Jimmy Barnes. I, I, told, I told, I played it in the car one day and she was like, I just never know if Australians are joking or not when they're singing because it's not oh, like a joke. That? I was listening to um, K-San. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was just like, I have no idea if this is a joke or Don't not. So that. working class man and all that. They're working just, to make a living. It just sounds yeah. like he's putting on the accent. Like, it's just hard to believe. He's got a husky voice. Okay, two, so two songs to take away from this. If you're an American wanting some Australian culture, number one, what's that first song? K-San. K-San. And yeah. then what, working class Can you class spell that? Man. I have no idea what you're saying. K-A-S-A-N. This will, this will be funny because my friend's back home and say, why is Kelly spelling? Because she can't spell. <laughs> So, K Sand, working class man, listen to it and get back to us and let us know. What yeah, you definitely. Think. Yep. And okay. I love, um, I love Johnny Farnham. Another love, Australian. Are these, do you, yeah. Do you listen to like all Australian artists? Because or... I'm from Australia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, shutting up. <laughs> Short invitation. <laughs> well, you know, they're just my era, like eighties, like. Yeah. Um, and obviously, yeah, you just grow up with them. And Johnny Farnham, uh, my dad was a. Um, love Johnny Farnham. So I went took Winnie for a walk yesterday, and uh, I did have Johnny Farnham blaring because <laughs> just connecting to the whole school atmosphere. George <laughs> being here, not working, being very lucky to be in a place like Virginia Tech. I was belting at Johnny Farnham for sure. <laughs> Such a paradise. Tune. Yeah, I was rocking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What type of head until Winnie pulled me that way? <laughs> <laughs> um, I had beats. Um, she got the bass. Yeah, Are beats. Yours or you have beats? So yeah, wrap she around your ears. Oh. She's a working. She's a working woman. She needs secure mm. headphones mm. when she's holding horses by the nose. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. when they're trying to kick her and bite her. Yeah. And... Definitely. Yeah. 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 It just needs secure um, headgear. <laughs> <laughs> like every construction man needs his helmet. Yeah, I need my beats <laughs> earphones. <laughs> and I needed them when Winnie would. I'd be like anticipating the jolt on the lead. Yeah. And sometimes she wouldn't go all the way. So therefore, I did fall backwards a couple of times because I thought she's going to jolt, but she didn't. So, and I did hurt my ribs before I come here. Oh, so she has broken ribs. Not her, broken. Her sore. and I are both. We have this in common. Right now, we were both on meloxicam. Yes. <laughs> oh, you are. And actually, horses take meloxicam too. Not saying that we're, you know, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's a it's a drug that we all use. <laughs> I have a prescription as well in my backpack, so. Yeah, that's universal. (laughs) Not like the music. (laughs) Now we're going to move on to some just Kelly-focused questions, really. 
Um, so first one, what is like your favorite game that you've watched, either like in person or online? Well, you can't compare it to live. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, um, listening to it's fantastic and shout out to Evan Hughes, who I met the other night at Clemson. Mum has a huge crush on Evan Hughes. Well, you know, he's my lifeline. <laughs> so um I have not missed a game by listening. So unless it's a huge snowstorm or something, I've either watched games or listened. I have not missed one. And mm. um, I can't say that about Phil because he snores sometimes. <laughs> well, I've got the beats in, but <laughs> he's interested, but he just needs to sleep. Um, so, yeah, so definitely live. And I've got to say, um, yeah, obviously, the NC, UNC. UNC. Yeah. Oh, I get them mixed up, NC, UNC. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. You know, different then- colours. <laughs> Also, give us like a rundown on like how you watch it from home. So like you wake up and you listen to it yep. and then you try and watch it when it like the replay or whatever. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> it depends what time. But sometimes um, obviously the earlier the game, the earlier I have to get up. So it could be a four o'clock in the morning listening to it um, or it could be um, I get to come home after work about 11 o'clock. I do the horses really quickly that day. Um, what time do you wake up and do the horses? Uh, I get about quarter past five. Yeah, It's not too bad. A lot of other people get up earlier because I'm getting older and crankier, I need a bit more sleep. So um, so either, yeah, listen or watch. Um, and if I listen, I'll do all my work. And then um, especially if, it's, if you've won, I'm really looking forward to coming home and um, setting the computer up and watching the replay. I've asked Georgia for it. Um, and if she loses, sometimes I don't get the replay. I haven't said you won replay. High point. Yeah. Mm. We won. <laughs> I bet you must have, you didn't give it to me though. Yeah, I didn't get it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, she tried to th- Ooh. Trying to throw me under the bus. <laughs> she also has to use a what a VPN. Oh yeah, I get you Phil, have to set up I'll a get, specific oh, Phil, camera. Phil has to set it up the night before, and because uh, I just got to push a button, I can't do anything else. So he has to set it all up, and then um, to watch it live, that is, and um, and then we set it all up, and then some games come up, you can't view this. So yeah, yeah. yeah so so just, even if it's like no matter what time it is for you, do you always like listen or watch Definitely. live? Really? Every, I haven't missed a game. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Because I love her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> like, and and I love Gemma and Toby just saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Speaking of Gemma, I have, I went home for the first time in two and a half years and I walk in and the house is renovated and there's all these shelves and Gemma likes to call it my shrine. Oh. Cause there's just like pictures of me. There's like a, medal or something like that now we've got the ball that she presented oh, she's gonna hate that <laughs> to put in my shrine but enough of that <laughs> yes, i said to Gemma, that's because she's not here i know she's not dead but she's not here yeah, so right. you, you know i have to um have a memory of her <laughs> <laughs> does Gemma listen to the podcast or Probably yeah she not. does she, she doesn't does. admit it but she will okay <laughs> well then hey Gemma, we love you um next question what did you expect from virginia or just america before coming over oh gee i had no idea um i've been to america when i was younger um i did a trafalgar tour with my twin sister shout out to my twin sister lisa who looks just wow. like me and my other sister anita because she'll get upset that i've mentioned lisa also like not gonna lie because mom is an identical twin there was a time when i was younger and i think lisa was in front of me and you guys at that time had blonde hair so i was like mom mom and she wasn't turning around i was like oh Please. <laughs> well, I actually did that shopping one day. Uh, there's lots of mirrors and um, it was mirrors all around me and I was looking for Lisa and I'm like, Lisa. And I went, Lisa. And I'm like, why is she like wording my words? I was talking to myself. <laughs> so um, what was the question? <laughs> what did you expect from like Virginia? Oh, well, I must admit, so I've been to America before. But obviously, it's a long time ago. And um, love the States, obviously. So um, us Australians think um, Americans um, – you know, probably before, I can't say political leaders. I'm not going to mention political <laughs> leaders. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we always thought America was bigger and better. You know, it's uh, it's just, yeah, it, it, you do, you get everything first. We, yeah. we copy. Yeah, so, yeah um, we do. We do. So Wow, you're getting her to admit that because normally she's always you, like. They, no, they try to copy and then they get the sack. What? What? Like, who was the leader? Which one was it? Oh, yeah. Um, I, yeah, my mum loves him. No, no. Politics? No. <laughs> no, no, no. When it comes to our politics and stuff like that, like if you guys like, um, like legalize something, like we'll probably soon like follow. Like they call sometimes in my social studies class, they call us like a mini America. Yeah, yeah. But like Virginia itself, like the landscape and all of that. Like, what did you expect? Like, did you expect Blacksburg to be like kind of like remote or like more like busy or? Um. So 
it's got a bit of everything, hasn't it? Um, oh, well, we're talking about Blacksburg. Yeah. Um, so it's got rural. It's got a, um, a nice little street, which reminds me a lot of um, sort of, um, you know, back down the beach at um, Drysdale, that sort of look. Um, it's got a, a nice little neat street. It's like downtown. downtown. Yeah, down, it's, yeah, it's very neat and um, pretty, uh, especially when it snows and it's winter. Um, the school's amazing. Like, well. That blew, that blew me away when um, we came over here. I thought I was going to go to the school. I, I was like, you have to go here, George. This is, this is out of this world. Like college town I've never been to before. Um, just oh, it reminds me a bit that local support reminds me a lot of home. Like, um, you know, um, if you play for North Ballarat City or Warbra, like everyone, um, yeah, has their own sort of following. So yeah. it's very um, familiar. Um, yeah. And just even at the game the other day, George, like if – they heard me, they'd know I was Australian. But otherwise, if I got introduced from Ralph Loretta to um, as supporters, everyone's just so lovely. And that's, I think, the Southern, actually Ralph said the other day, and I'm like, he's he's really right. The Southern um, hospitality, there's nothing mm. like it. Mm. And I don't think you get that in LA or you get that, obviously, because it's not Southern, but <laughs> that that hospitality is unbelievable. They're so friendly. Everyone's yeah. so friendly. Yeah, yeah, love it. Yeah. It doesn't hurt that you also have a daughter that. Does a lot of great things for the school, so I'm sure. I don't grunt. You know, it's true. When Raven's around you too, you kind of stand out more because everyone recognises Raven. They're like, hang on. He's your little friend. <laughs> yeah, you guys should know. Anytime you say anything to Raven, her head just gets so much bigger. Um, she loves it so much, though. It's so funny. She does. Um, what about the food in America? Because I know you have, like, a love-hate relationship with it. So what do you think about it? Well, um, the last trip was uh, – when I came over here with obviously with my husband Phil and Gemma and Toby, yeah, everything was new. But this time around, I'm a, I'm a lot smarter. Yeah, <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I I sort of know what I'm going to get now and uh, a bit more experience. So it's um yeah, this is funny how things look differently to like COVID last year was probably harder too with a lot of things. Yeah. Um, even getting to stand with people and just talk and not be scared mm-hmm. that you might be catching something or passing something on or um, a lot more relaxed. Mm -hmm. And um, same with, yeah, just being here before, I'm a bit more, bit better, thank God, since I'm the one that's driving. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, What about like the recruiting process? Like, what do you think when I was like, okay, I'm like talking to these guys and they want me to come over? (laughs) Whatever. Like really, like, (laughs) I don't know. I just, because George is such an independent person, um, which, you know, from a little girl, like, yeah, she would, um, pretty much do what she wanted to do, but uh, didn't tell you. She just had mindset and would do it. So um, when Georgia was talking to recruiters, uh, I didn't really take much interest because I knew I had no say and um, she would work it out. So um, I spoke to maybe... Rad, Coach An- When Coach Anderson was here. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and um, because I knew nothing about it. And if I did have a little say, she'd go, Mum, that's not right or that's, not what, that's, that's what they do or... <laughs> She got very aggressive. So I'm like, okay, you work it out. And just let me know when you choose somewhere. <laughs> so um must say, and I've said that to people before, she did a great job, obviously. Like she, she always talked about Coach Brooks and um, how she loved talking to him and um, formed a great relationship with him over the phone. And um, she said, I'm only going to two places to visit. So uh, one was where um, my niece, your cousin, um, goes to at um, Portland. Mm-hmm. And we visited there, and that was a lovely university, lovely coach. Uh, would have been great to be with her cousin, but when uh, Georgia decided to fly another five hours out of the other side of the country, and um, we come to Virginia Tech, and I must say, uh, meeting Coach Brooks and um, the facilities, um, the school, the area, um, very similar to home a little bit, isn't it, George? Yeah, yeah. Just because, like, we're also. We live rurally, so, like, when we're, like, in, like, kind of the mix of, like, not the city but, like, the town and then you, like, drive on the highway, there's, like, cows and horses to get out to our house. Like, yeah. that kind of reminds me of, like, where we live now, driving to, like, um, yeah. campus and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I think if you're going to come over here, you might as well experience as much as you can and I think um, yeah, choosing Virginia Tech was obviously the best place and um, look at her now, like, as in not – I know she's a great player but as a person – um, as someone who's just given her all um, and forming a relationship with people, yeah, she's doing a fantastic job, and that's what I'm most proud about is that, yeah, she's doing making the most of her opportunities. Wow, that was cute. That was really cute. So, do you want to give us a rundown of the brick wall story? <laughs> just to <finish. laughs> okay. So, when Georgia was growing up playing basketball, 
obviously not much smaller than what she is now. Um, and it was a stage there you wouldn't practice much, wasn't there? You're sort of. Well, I got to a stage where I was like religiously practicing. So I think I was doing the normal amount. Yeah, normal. Yeah. I wasn't doing any more. Any rain. extra. Yeah. So you missed out on a cider. Anyway. Um, yeah. And then I was sort of, oh, I was busy because I had the twins and Georgia was at me all day, like following me around. I was putting washing out the line <laughs> and she was complaining, so whinging, saying. How old was I? I must have been like, what? 12. 12. Yeah. Saying how she didn't make this side and how unfair it was and rah, 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 rah. And um, I just turned around and I might have nudged her. Uh-uh. Two okay. hands, collar. Yep, yep, yep. I pretty much did and sort of just gently um, leaned her against the wall <laughs> and gave it to her. And I said, look, whinge when you can whinge, but, you know, you haven't put the work in from what I can see and just really gave her a rev up. I think it was good training for you to come <laughs> over here to, <laughs> and Coach Brooks gave it to you today. That's normal. That's what I would get from mum. I cannot remember the words that came out of the mouth. There was the hands. <laughs> the, the, the hands of my neck against the wall. Like, and also my hair is so thick and the brick wall is so scratchy. It was like getting stuck on the wall. And I was like, oh, yeah, look, you know, it could have been child abuse close <laughs> to, but. Um, anyway, it was just one of those moments. I'm like, I'm sick of this kid whinging. Um, she, she needs to be told, you know. Okay, you can whinge when I see that you put in 100%, but right now, no, nah, you're a whinger and you need to know. My mum was also my netball coach. Oh, yeah. And I hated <laughs> netball. And yeah, she would give it to me. I think there was one time too at training where I did something and you were like, just go in the car. Yeah, I send it, send it to the car. Because like I had, I, I feel for coach books sometimes. I'm not saying, you know, I'm just I still, know. still, you know, as, still, a, coach, as, as a, coach. a coach. So, you know, I'm trying to control these 12 year olds <laughs> and, um, Oh no, Georgia decides to be one of the ringleaders. So, you know, she was do you have to do that drill again. Is there anything you can't you think of anything else? And I'm just like, okay, you can get in the car. And I'm pretty much just it was 40 degrees or something, just send her in the car without no keys and she can sit there. 40 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So yeah. like, the car wasn't running, so I was <laughs> Yeah. I was really mad though, wasn't I? Like yeah. she was just stirring those other girls up. I'm just like, I've got to get them. But I've changed. <laughs> sort of better I've changed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so mm. anyway, I yeah, we've had some I suppose they're just normal mother daughter moments that yeah. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know if that's <laughs> Is that not normal? <laughs> it's culture difference. It's a ah, culture okay. yeah, difference. Yeah, we're we're, we're, we're yeah. <laughs> It obviously worked out great, though. Mm. So, okay. well, I'm staying here, so. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. Um, also, obviously, Georgia has had a lot of success on the court. Um, she did have the triple double against Nebraska, and you were actually able to stand at half court before the UNC game mm. and present her with that ball. So, what was that like to be uh, out in front of everyone and recognizing her for that? Oh, I was really nervous. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did want to trip going down to the to the court. That was my main goal before yeah. stepping onto the court and then obviously coach brooks was there and um he sort of mentioned that after afterwards you just go back to what you normally do and i said well i'll let you coach and i'll go and watch and he said he said good deal so, <laughs> and um oh, i was trying not to cry so much because i'm the biggest sook so anyway um and then they decided to play that song georgia i'm like okay the tears are starting to come mom had never heard of that song before until america pretty much like the that song. Oh, that yeah, that, that from that artist. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty moving. And then, then when I see my little girl walk out with her arms out, and I'm just like, oh. And then I have to give her the ball, and she's like, "Mama told you not to cry." Like, <laughs> she just ruined the moment completely. It's like, oh god. Because then, because then they posted the picture. Mama's like, God, I look like I've been hit by a truck. And I was like, Well, I told you not to cry. <laughs> but just, just, it's just special. It oh is. my god, it's so special and so proud and. Um, just because I know, as I told, spoke to Georgia, which was really nice too after the game, we haven't gotten to do that, was um, mm-hmm. just say, wow, just wow, look at, what, look at what you're doing, look what you've done, and I am so proud. And and I know that she's missing out on so, not so much, but she misses out on a fair bit, obviously, not being home. So, And she said to me, well, if I'm going to be here, I might as well put in as much as I can. So that's just a, an attitude that she has that's, obviously um helped her so much so very proud oh oh mm. could you not be and I'm proud of Gemma and toby too <laughs> you know and phil and phil whole family whole family and even lisa yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and 
and then oh, shout out to mum because <laughs> oh they'll get this and I'll say yeah oh, it was great but they never mentioned me or <laughs> no I love my family <laughs> and brothers. Well, we have a big one coming up this week. We have VBA on Thursday, the Commonwealth Clash. We know how that is. So yeah, January fifth. Yes. Come out, make some noise, be loud. Uh, we definitely need the support. As always, we appreciate it because, like, I think Coach Brooks said in the presser after the game, like, a great crowd is what makes a good team great. And that crowd against UNC really put us over the edge. So mm-hmm. keep coming out with that attitude and that uh, energy because mm-hmm. we absolutely love it. Yeah, Kelly will be there. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Loud, I'm sure. Are you a screamer during the games? No, your mum's like, your mum is standing up like, Going off, I'm like, well, Loretta, like this is, no, she's such a quiet, lovely lady. She goes off during games, um, oh gosh, and does. I just sort of don't waste my energy unless I have to. I'm sort of a bit of a, I just sort of watch and um, hope for the best, but realise that doesn't always happen. So, yeah, um, where's your mum's? <laughs> I love her. She's just rocking it, like. <laughs> She's very loud. I'm glad yeah. you guys balance each other out. And then yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like the opposite yeah. outside of basketball. Yeah, yeah exactly. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Fun. I just, yeah, I just hope and pray for the best. And um, um, and um, you can't change a thing sitting in that seat. So That's true. Mm. But, yeah, we hope you guys come out. Um, any more things to say to the people? Um, just, just a shout out to, you know, Blacksburg and um, Virginia Tech. <laughs> really love I love it. Like, you know, um if my other daughter comes over here, I said to Georgia I might move to Hawaii and um just a dream, but you know, you've got a dream. Um but yeah, I, I said to George I could just be a basketball mum and I'm just like, no, nah, actually that's why you have the horses because it's good to go out there and I can, you know, get stuck into a horse and they either kick or bite. Um and that I give you mouth like these ones do. <laughs> But no, I love my horses. I love Australia, but gee, I've, I've really enjoyed my time over here. Oh, well, that's great. You're definitely a queen of castles, so I think <laughs> that we should bring you into the outro, Georgia. We, we, well, okay, okay. Just say I'm Kelly. Um, after. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. I'm Kelly. Yeah, and then I'll say and we're, and then we say queens of castles. But I don't say that because you guys are no. Okay. You say it. Right. You got, you're famous. You got noticed. Okay. 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 Ready. <laughs> Okay, I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. I'm Kelly. And we're the Queens, Queens of the Castle. Castle.